Hey, what's going on my Stock Life family? Uh, super happy and super blessed to be here with you guys. Wanted to take a little bit of time right now and uh, read over this tweet that I saw from my, from my homie Kevin Trades. Great trader, you should go follow him on the gram. Um, but I'm gonna put it out right here so you guys see it. What it says, never discuss cheese with rats, talk bread with birds, or make moves with snakes. And I wanted to take this opportunity right now and, and talk to you guys about keeping your circle small and understanding that you are the five people that you hang out with the most in the life. Um, it's something that took a long time for me to understand. I want to make the lesson as short as possible for you guys that you are you who you hang out with and who you are today is not who you're going to be tomorrow. So you need to be focusing on the future and your next steps forward so that you understand what is at stake here. If you don't sacrifice for what you want in the future, what you want becomes a sacrifice. And so many times in society and culture, we, we get attached to these people that are not good for us. And then we get into these situations where we're like, how do I get rid of this person? I, I'm, I'm afraid to cut ties with this person because X, Y, or Z reason. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a lesson that's helped me and helped me cut out negative people from my life and cut out people that are not fitting in my future because everybody that's in your current is not going to fit in your future. And keeping your circle small and who influences you small is going to be paramount for your success. Anytime I hop on this video right now and talk to you guys about anything that's paramount for your success, really pay attention to it because it's for your benefit. It's going to increase your quality of life. So with that being said, understanding that you are a ball of energy and if there are other balls of energy around you guys are constantly exchanging energy constantly exchanging particles the people that you surround yourself with are being going to become like you and the people that are around you are going to become and vice versa you get the, the message i'm trying to spit here but understanding that if you treat life like a chessboard and the people that are closest to you are your power pieces. Say you're the king or you're the queen. We'll just say the king, for example. Who your first most important person is, the person that you spend the most time with is your queen. And that's gonna be your most powerful piece. They're gonna have the most influence on you. They're gonna have the most power on your chessboard. And then you have your bishops, which are the second and third most. You got your knights, the fourth and fifth, and you got your rooks, sixth and seventh. And then you got your pawns or your associates. And to put it in perspective, you wanna make sure that your power pieces are as strong as possible. The people that you surround yourself with, the people that you're listening to, the people that you include in your inner circle are going to have that type of influence on you. And to think about it on a macro level, so many times we get into relationships with these people and we think like, oh, I, I, I don't want to let this person go. I don't want to hurt their feelings. But you really think on a micro scale. And I want to take it out and give you guys more of a macro perspective. So, so many times we think about life in a day-to-day -day basis and that's really only thinking one move ahead. That's not even thinking one move ahead, that's thinking one day ahead. And moves can be one year, five year, 10 year, just depending on what type of perspective you create for your chessboard. And with the importance of this is understanding that the deeper and the longer that you create the time frame, the easier that it is to get rid of those micro people. Some people are here for a season, some people are here for a reason, some people are here for a lifetime. And it's your job as a ball of energy, as a sentient being to understand which people are gonna play which role inside of your life and you are completely in control of that. If you're watching this video right now, if you have an internet connection, if you got electricity to fund your device, then you have an opportunity to change your life. That's something I wanna hammer in to the utmost, to the paramount utmost to you guys, is that you have control of your life and you have control of your destiny. So making sure that you surround yourself with those powerful pieces is everything. You have to understand that when you speak about your future and you speak about things that you're, you're wanting and things that you're manifesting, and if you're talking to the wrong people, they're gonna think down about it. They're gonna create that negative atmosphere around it. And those things are gonna be a lot less likely to happen. And it's gonna be the people closest to you. It's gonna be your best friend. It's gonna be your family members. It's gonna be people that you thought were gonna be forever in your life that turn out to be not beneficial for the vision that you have for your future. So really, even before we get to understanding who the players on your board are gonna be, it's understanding what type of vision you have for your future and getting out of that micro and getting into the macro. If you're not thinking one year, five year, 10 years ahead, really take a good hard look at the results that you've been getting from your life and seeing if you wanna change that. If you're exactly where you want to be in life, put down this video right now, it's not for you. If you have growth, to maintain, if you have growth to obtain in your life, then this video is for you. It's gonna change your perspective a little bit. When you look at those people that are not fitting into your future and you're afraid of breaking their hearts, if you're afraid of ruining the relationship, you're thinking on the micro. You're thinking one day ahead, five days ahead, a week ahead, a month ahead. What you really need to start focusing on is who do you wanna be five years from now? 
Who do you want to be in 2026? Who do you want to be in 2030? What type of lifestyle does that person have? What type of results do they have? What type of fruits from their label do they have? What type of problems do they have? Really think about it from a macro perspective and everything. You can't just think about the good without taking in the bad because with every single pro, there is a con. There's no such thing as a perfect situation, a per perfect circumstance. And when you understand that and when you take that into consideration and start thinking from a macro perspective, it's a lot easier to cut these negative people out. It's a lot easier to understand who's a rat, who's a bird, who's a snake, who's a friend, who's a lifelong partner in a relationship of abundance with you. And when you take that into consideration, you understand that not everybody's gonna fit into those roles. You can only have so many people. There's only one queen that you can have. On your chessboard, there's only one queen that you can have on your team. So make sure that decision is made with the utmost care, with utmost thought, with utmost consideration for the future that you wanna have inside of your own life. Because like I said earlier in the video, you control your destiny. You control your time, you control your priorities, you control every single action that you're taking from this moment on because you have that awareness. If you did not have that awareness before, I'm giving that awareness to you and it's something so paramount for your success, so paramount for who you're gonna become in the future. That's all I can, all I can wish forward to you is the understanding of awareness and that you are not, if you're making a million dollars today, you need to increase your awareness to make a million and one. The only reason you're not making a million and one is because you're unaware of how to create that reality for yourself. And understanding that awareness comes with the people that you surround yourself with and that deep, intense thought. So many times people think that they're thinking, but they're really not thinking. They're taking the words and they're taking the opinions and they're conglomerating it into what they think is a thought when it's just pieces of bit, bits and pieces of information that are scattered around, put together inside of the mind. That's not thinking. That's deductive reasoning. That's just taking in information and then piecing it together. Inductive reasoning, what you wanna do, what you wanna be doing, thinking with the power of thought. Inductive reasoning is taking in information and understanding, is this gonna increase the quality of my life or is this gonna decrease the quality of my life? And when you can ask that question about every single thing that you take in and then filter accordingly, then you're gonna start seeing organization in your life and when you see organization, you're gonna start seeing movement. When you start seeing movement, you're gonna start seeing success. And every single thing that happens in life, every single action that you take, every single thought that you think, every single piece of food that you digest is either gonna increase or decrease your frequency. And at the end of the day, if you can hit 51%, that means you can hit 52, 53, 54, 55. But if you're hitting 49, that means you're gonna hit 48, 47, 46, 45. And you want to be the majority shareholder of the destiny and the abundance inside of your life. So I don't wanna make this video too long. I say that every single video, but I love you guys. And this is important information for you guys to understand that keeping your circle small and understanding who your queen is, who your bishops are, who your knights are, who your rooks are, and who your pawns are, and who's not even on the board, is gonna make all the difference in your future. It's gonna make all the difference in your success. It's gonna make all the f difference in the fate that you decide for yourself. So before we even get any further and we close out this video, I need you guys to subscribe. I need you guys to like this video. I need you to comment it. I need you to share it with somebody who might need to hear this. And if you do all those things, you have a piece of abundance waiting for you on the other side. Like I said, in every single video, it's my stock life or no life. I love you guys. Let's keep going, let's keep grinding, let's keep growing, let's keep getting more abundant every single day and keep on grinding to a better future. Because when we hit that peak, when we hit that pinnacle, it's gonna be worth every single action that you took. So without further ado, I love you guys so much. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and we'll be back for another video shortly. Peace.